The final element in our workspace layout is the work itself. In a production environment, when you're up against deadlines, you'll find yourself with several images open at once. I'll show you how best to arrange them. When you're talking about working in a production environment in graphic design or concept illustration, um, there are times where you could have 20 windows open, whether they're assets that you need to incorporate into your work, or in the case of what I have here, we simply have open different reference images to what I'm gonna be drawing. How do we keep this efficient? Well, the first thing that we can do is we can pull any one of these panels out of the layout and group them. So right now, I'm just gonna group all of our reference material together. Uh, if I had a lot of reference material, uh, maybe, you know, we're drawing sort of a, a cowboy kind of theme. So maybe if I had five or six different guns or different angles that I, that I had, I'd group all the guns together. I'd group all the spurs together. I'd group all the dusters together. And what that allows us to do is just move it out of the way. It'll be hidden, but as you can see, it's still behind our application panel. So at any time we want to take a look at uh, one of the guns, we come up here. Second way to make you more efficient is make sure that everything is properly titled. Uh, in the case of these two untitled images right here, all I did was copy the image and then paste it into a new window. So when you do that, make sure that... Go to File and New. Make sure that you don't title it untitled. In this case, I'm going to title it Mateba 6 because that's the type of gun it is. Hit OK. Paste it in there. And then I'm just going to delete this untitled one. Unfortunately, there's not a, an obvious, quick, easy way to rename a, a layer that's not saved. And I don't necessarily want to save this one because it's just a reference image and I probably either, either A, I already have it saved somewhere and I can pull it up whenever I want and I don't even need to worry about renaming it, or B, it was just a quick image that I pulled somewhere off the internet to use as a quick reference and I'll be done with it soon and can throw it away. So make sure that everything up here is named, because when we only have three things, if it just says Untitled 3, all right, we know those are the Spurs because this is the Duster and this is the Mateba 6. But when we have 20 windows and we have Untitled 1 through 20, now we're going to be spending, you know, almost an entire minute clicking Untitled 1, Untitled 2, Untitled 3. It's going to slow us down. So make sure that you name everything properly so that you know what it is. Uh, the last thing that you can do in terms of making things a little more efficient, uh, I have two monitors. So what I can do is take these image, take these reference images and separate them. And on my second monitor to the right, I can line them up so that they're always visible. And again, this is gonna go a little bit off the monitor. Uh, let's just do this. And we'll do this, we'll do this. So you can line them up in such a way that they're always visible on an extra monitor, or in this case, we're going to put them in the space that's empty over here to the right. Shrink that down a little bit. So that all three of them are visible. And we don't have to worry about clicking back into this original space and watching as they just disappear behind the window. So here we go, all three of them are open. And now over the course of time, as you can see, they're still open to the right. We can zoom in here. And then over, over a short period of time, we can turn this into this. So that's all for now. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below, and send any questions that you might have to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks for watching.